Thank you for joining us for Pet Connect. I'm Tara Douglas. We had a really busy past week in animal rescue. At the Silicaga Animal Shelter on Saturday, we had a record number of people come to help walk dogs. So thank you to everyone that showed up on Saturday. We were able to get the dogs out and to enjoy the beautiful weather and they had some extra time out, which is great for them and great for the dog walkers but also it helps us with the rescues that we work with in other states because we'll have lots of pictures, lots of information about the dogs and lots of videos and you can't imagine how much that helps for us to find homes for those dogs. And then Saturday night after the dog walking we had a very successful event at Bourbon on Broadway where we raised some money for feral dogs of Avondale Mill and while we were there someone called their boss at Toyota of Silicaga and they agreed to give us a $2,000 check. So that helps so much toward vet bills, toward transports, toward um, spaying and neutering in this area. So we really appreciate the support from the community. And we also ended our heartworm campaign last, uh, I guess it was yesterday, we stopped. And we were able to raise money to get some of the dogs from that uh, Silicaga Animal Shelter treated for heartworms. And so thank you so much to the community for donating. Thank you to the businesses in the area for donating and caring about these homeless dogs and cats in this area. And please get out and support all those businesses because they support the community in so many ways, not just with the uh, animals. And then last but not least, we had a great transport this morning. We had um, dogs and cats leave for a second chance puppy and kitten rescue in West Palm Beach, Florida. So we had a mama dog leave the Silicaga shelter and her six puppies that had been in foster. We had two other foster puppies that had been dumped at a local elementary school. They all get to go to Florida along with eight kittens to find homes. And so we appreciate the work with all of our sister rescues. Now, uh, that's it with all the announcements. Now we can get to our special guest. We have Kim Wright here today. She's from the Pinhoti Outdoor Center. So Kim, thank you so much Thanks for, for coming me. on the show. Thank you so much. It's good to be here. Well, tell us a little bit about, about who you are. I'm Kim Wright. My husband and I, Nathan, Nathan and I live here in Sulacaga. Um, love to be involved in community activities, but we fell in love with the Pinhoti Trail and Sulacaga is now home. So tell us more about the, let's, we'll talk about your dogs in just a second. Sure. But the Pinhoti Trail itself, what made you fall in love with that? It's, it's just a gorgeous footpath. Um, there's waterways, there's views. You can see, you know, from one of the ridgelines, you can see downtown Sylacauga um, lit up at night. It's just absolutely a stunning trail. Um, and it is really a great opportunity for people to come into our city and, and you know, visit our city. So for those people who don't know what the Pinhoti is, where does it start? Where does it, where does it go? The Pinhoti Trail is a 350 mile trail that starts in Wagovka at Flag Mountain and it goes all the way to North Georgia, Ella J. Georgia, Dyer Gap. Um, and it's, uh, it spans basically 176 miles through the state of Alabama. So it's Alabama's premier long distance trail. Okay. And then does the Pinhoti, it links with the Appalachian Trail? It, it can, yeah. You can connect it from the, you take the Bent Mackay Trail, 72 miles to the Appalachian Trail. So you can hike from here all the way to Baxter State Park in Maine. Wow, because you yeah. you, we were discussing yesterday, you have a hiker, you have several hikers, several that, hikers. that come and, and hike from here all the way to Maine. Yes, and we've got a few coming through that started down in Key West, Florida, and they'll be hiking all the way to Newfoundland, Canada from here from Key West, okay. and that includes the Pinhoti Trail. So that's very cool. So where do most of your hikers come from? Wow, we have, we've got hikers from Ohio right now in the hostel. We have several from, um, we've, we've had some California, Nevada, um, Arizona. We've had a couple from Ireland come over. Um, so really all over the world, you, you find people that have a less distance or less amount of time that want to hike a long distance trail, mm -hmm. then the Pinhoti is a perfect fit for that. That's great. Yeah. So what kind of services do you provide for these hikers? That we come have in? a full service hostel. We um, provide shuttles. We provide beds for people who are hiking through that want to just a bed for a night, a shower, laundry. And we have a kitchenette where they can cook some food if they want to. But we prefer to bring them into town. We brought in three hikers last night to the Mexican restaurant okay. to, to eat dinner. And then um, we also do full service planning. So we'll plan your hike from start to finish for you, okay. connect you with trail angels all the way up. Now, what are, what are trail angels? What do they do? Trail angels are people who provide services to hikers, um, usually by donation or at no cost. But it's um, they'll either leave food for hikers on the trail, like just snacks, okay. um, just surprises for hikers. Also provide rides to towns and um, just 
basically serving hikers any way you can serve a hiker. That's pretty much what a trail angel does. And you were saying yesterday that you do, and you just mentioned transports, mm -hmm. so you can meet these hikers at different spots on the trail. Right, we, we do that. We, um, we shuttle from the airports, Birmingham, Atlanta, Montgomery airports, bus station, train station, but our goal is to just get them on trail. Okay. So if they want to do just a section, we'll park their car at one end and we'll shuttle them to the, the beginning of the trail section so they can go hike to their car. Oh, wow. So you, you pick people up at the airport to hike, they don't even have to figure out how to get to the trailhead. No, you, you do that for them. Take them straight to the trailhead. Now where is the hostel? It is on 280, um, about 1.2 miles basically east of um, one County Road 150. Okay going towards Auburn. And that's the Outdoor Center. It is, is the Outdoor Center, Pinhody Outdoor Center. Okay, yeah. and then at the Outdoor Center, what else do you have besides the accommodations for people to stay there? You have- uh, We do have a small store. Um, okay. We do carry just some Pinhody t-shirts, hats, that sort of thing. Um, a little bit of resupply, but what we really like to do is just bring the hikers into town, let them support our local businesses, um, bring them in for Bluebell ice cream through the week. They come into Silicaga Chamber to get their registration. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just a great way for us to, to support the local economy, Absolutely. but also to serve the hikers. Because that certainly puts Silicaga on the map. It with, does. With the trailhead being right here yep. close by. And Silicaga is officially a Penhody Trail town. There's, there's four along the Penhody, okay. and those are just trail towns that have been noted to serve hikers well. Now, you've also mentioned classes to me. You mm -hmm. have one coming up, and I know that it's almost full, so we're not right. advertising this class yep. available, but what type of classes do you? We Well, our class coming up is Backpacking 101. It's a two-day, two-weekend course, so you've got the first weekend is just backpacking lessons. It's teaching you how to pack a pack, how to light fires, how, how to prepare camp food, um, really the basics of if you want to overnight camp. Um, then the second weekend of that session is an actual overnight camping trip that you plan yourself. Okay. So it's a lot of fun. Um, we do have a couple slots left, but um, we do that annually and then we'll offer some guided, guided-ish hikes where we sick, pick a section for people who have not been on the trail and they want to get out. We'll say, let's go do this section this weekend and we'll take you out there. That's great. So it's a lot of fun. When is your next class? Well, we usually do them in the spring, okay. um, and then we've got the Pinhody Fest coming up in, in September, okay. and that's our big annual trail kickoff. Our season goes from October 1st to mid-May, and that's just when it's best hiking for Alabama, and it's a great opportunity because a lot of the other trails close down in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. Well, we're a full-service trail through the winter. And, and so. you look like you had a lot of people at the Pinhody Fest. We did. We had about 500 people sign in, so we don't really have a, an 100% accurate count, but um, we're looking at about 1,200 to 1,500 this year with more gear vendors and That's great. more campers in the park. It was a great success our first year, and it'll only get better from there. That's great because, yeah. you know, like you said, it brings people into town. They can oh, yeah. shop at local businesses, and that's wonderful. Yeah, so. we've got a lot of great feedback from our local restaurants and fermenters market and bourbon on Broadway that. We had a lot of hikers That's visiting great. all the different restaurants in town, so that was great. And those are the, uh, the ones that are supporting us at Feral Dogs That's and Avenue right. Mill, so yep. that's another way that we can help them <laughs> yep. get some support as well. Yep. Now, you, uh, you mentioned all the nice trails around here. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some shorter options that if you're local and you don't want to hike the right. entire trail, there are some great spots around here where you can get a trailhead and, and hike a beautiful portion of the Pinot. Oh, yeah. There's, there's smaller sections and there's... 12 mile sections, the 18 mile sections. So you've got a lot of great, and then you can hit Lake Howard. Lake Howard's got an incredible trail system as well. So Silicaga is just, just full of outside things to do. And um, the trails, mm -hmm. Lake Howard, you can get on the lake and paddle and canoe or and just hike through the trails. It's, it, but, but Silicaga is rich in outdoor activities. And a great place that you can take your dogs. Absolutely. Dogs love to go on trails. They and do. we've got plenty of trails around Speaking here. Speaking of dogs <laughs> on trails, yeah, we can definitely, uh, uh, but we have a lot of hikers that take their dogs with them and it's really cute to see them with their little doggy packs on carrying their own food and you know if you hike you got to carry your own supplies so that's what they do. So a lot, or do you ever have people fly in that bring their dogs with them? Or we haven't had anybody just... fly in that bring their dogs but um, I'm, I mean I'm sure it could happen. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Now tell me a little bit, since we're talking about dogs, you have no, dogs and you have a good do. dog story. So Yeah, we have two dogs, um, Max and Tala. Max is our new baby. Mm -hmm. uh, Max is a German Shepherd um, Collie mix. And he was, y'all, this breaks my heart, but he was a day away from being euthanized and he was rescued from a foster family. Um, the foster took him in 
just so happened that it was a relative of ours, but she was posting just these amazing pictures of Max. And we fell in love. Um, we have a, another high energy breed dog. Tala is a healer Malinois mix. And she needed some friends. <laughs> she needed some yeah. company to keep her active. And um, we just fell in love with Max in North Carolina and decided that it was going to be a good fit for us. So we took Tala to North Carolina. We let them meet. We made sure that they were a good fit. And um, we brought Max home. So we've had Max for about three weeks now. And it's just been it's just been so much fun. That's a great story. Yeah. And you know, I was talking to you before we came in here. I, I love that story because we have so many animals in foster here. Right. And we do send them to other rescues in other states. We do try to organize to get them adopted in other areas. And you're an example of, of that working. Right. You saw a dog that that you knew would be a, you thought would be a good fit for your family. You're right. very interested and you were willing to drive to North Carolina to get him. So yeah. You know, when we post all this information in the animal rescue world, so important to share it because you never know somebody in another state, another rescue in another state will want to help out and take that dog. And we yeah. can, you know, help these animals from all over yeah. the, the country find homes. But certainly that's a way that we can help animals in Silicaga find homes. Yeah, because you're forever dog. You never know where you're going to find them. Absolutely. You know, and it's important to, and I'm, I'm a big proponent of taking from a foster or a shelter mm -hmm. than going out to a breeder just because... Those dogs need love. They you know, do. they were loved once by somebody, and, and they need that again. So. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that's, a, that's a, a good story. I'm so glad you found uh, another dog to join your family. Oh, they're fun to watch. They're so fun to watch. She was showing me pictures or a video before she came in of all the them running in circles around yep. the office at yep. the... So it's, we're gonna have to get new carpet soon, I'm sure, because they're gonna wear. They're a gonna hole. wear a hole. But it was sure. good. They were tired. It was just. It's good to have that. You see that energy, the connection between mm -hmm. them, and we knew that they would be a good fit yeah. because they're both high energy dogs. And so. that was great that you could drive your dog up there to yep. meet and and know that it was going to be a good fit. And they're great on both of them are great on trail. So uh, of course, yeah, they have to. They have to be they're, trail they're dogs. dogs. <laughs> they have to be trail dogs. <laughs> you can't have anything but no, a trail dog. No, we couldn't take a little basset hound out on the trail so much, yeah. but they're great. Well, we really appreciate you coming on and, well, and talking about me. the Pinhoti Outdoor yeah. Center and the Pinhoti Trail. And thank you for everything that you do to bring people into the community and oh, bring well. um, business into Silicaga. And we wish you the best with that thank and, and thank the you. dogs. Thank you. We're excited about all of it. Now, speaking of fosters, I um, neglected to mention our pet of the week. I got rolling there with all of the announcements that we had. This Aww. is Kimberly. Now, Kimberly was able to go to a foster. Her story is that her litter was dumped on the side of the road locally, and um, one of our foster families found the litter, took them in, and most of her litter mates have gone to rescues in other states, but she was very timid. So she's been doing a great job walking. She's a little over a year old. She's a wonderful, healthy dog. But one of our dog walkers fell in love with her and said, you know what, I want to foster her. I want to take her for a couple of weeks to see if I can help her come out of her Aww. shell some more. So she went to foster and then um, Michelle Smith, our, she went to Lynn Averett's house for two weeks and then Michelle Smith, one of our other fosters, wanted her to go to boarding and training with Meredith Dempsey at For the Love of Dog. And Meredith has several um, shelter dogs there and she gets sponsors to bring shelter dogs in so that she can get them out of the shelter situation, out of those kennels for a while, do some training. So this is really a unique opportunity with Kimberly to get a dog that has decompressed away from the shelter, has had some boarding and training. So please consider, she's a beautiful dog. And we have several Silicaga dogs there with Meredith. So if you wanna follow Meredith on Facebook, cause Meredith Dempsey and she's for the love of dog, then you can see a lot of these Silicaga dogs that she's been working with that would be amazing for an adoption. So That's you awesome. could have a, a similar story to Kim over here and have a new forever pet for your family that mm -hmm. has come from a foster situation and has really um, gained a lot from being in foster. So Consider yeah. fostering. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because we always need fosters yeah. with the feral dogs of Avondale Mill. And we talk about it each week, but when you foster, that feral dogs provides all of the, the supplies, all of the cost of fostering. They just need a space and some love. So That's yeah, awesome. yeah it's, it's great. There's a lot of people in the foster world. So you know, certainly um, think about adopting Kimberly and get out on the trails around here and take your dogs out for walks. And um, thank you for joining us today. We will um, have more Daybreak after these messages.